questions. Uh, Mark That's Walker enough, on Twitter says, who gets first go at forming a government? Is it the biggest party or the question. party with the biggest share of the vote? No, no one gets a, a, a go in that sense. We have two things going on. The current government remains in office. Anyone can talk to anyone else. Okay. Um, it depends on the politics. Nick Clegg last time said he'd talk to the party which had the largest number of seats and votes. Um, the, uh, uh, and undoubtedly, the, part of the, the largest party has an advantage. It is not necessarily automatic. Let's say they're close together. Let's say Labour and Tories are 10, 15 seats apart. Okay. It is quite possible that Labour has more potential allies than the Tories have. It is not impossible after the election, that if they're very close, and mm. it's quite possible they're close, that Labour uh, could defeat the Tories on the Queen's speech on a key vote if it got to that stage and it wasn't settled so early. Um, and Labour could more plausibly be in power than the Conservatives on their basis. So no one in a sense has the first... Everyone can talk to everyone else. It's a free-for-all right. mm -hmm. um, uh, for, for that, that but, basis. But, 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 but it depends on the politics. But you're saying then the party, the party that comes second could still end up in the coalition government with Absolutely. Uh, and it, and it, how, will the vote, how will voters take to that? What no, because they, could we elect a parliament? We don't elect a government. Every, sure, in, but in, still, in, it doesn't stop people yeah. feeling happy. Oh, no, absolutely. It? Yeah. The, 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 the initiative clearly lies with the largest party. Yes. Because the initial presumption will be that the largest party is in the best position to form a government. And over the last century, in... There's only been one case in 100 years where the second largest party has formed a government, and that is where the second and the third largest parties, mm. the Liberals and Labour, as it happens, back in 1924, mm. could outvote the Conservatives. So the initiative lies with the largest party, but of course, as Peter says, it depends upon how the, the votes actually add up in the House of Commons, and it could be that the second largest party could, uh, could form a majority. Uh, 